We're back. It is a core and cardio day for you. Um, we need one, just one weight. Um, don't go too crazy. You're going to be doing more core with it than not, okay? Let's start off with our warm-up, shall we? We're going to go ahead and get ourselves on all fours and cat cow. Start to get some movement in that spine. So arching and pounding to the back. Don't forget about in between those shoulder blades, getting some movement there as well. Through the neck. And tipping and rounding through that pelvis. Relax the belly. Pull the belly button in. And from here, let's go ahead and push yourselves up into a down dog. So from here, turn the toes under, press up. Think about this nice stretch. Maybe we just do a few ankle pumps here. Really pushing through one heel and then to the other. And then from here, I want you to think about how you can round through that back, just like you just did. And then all right, drop those hips down. Look a little right, a little left. Let's do that again. Turn those toes under. Push back, nice flat back, tailbone tip up to the sky, curling under with the tailbone, rounding through the upper back, drop through the hips, weight of the hips going forward towards the floor. Let's do that again. Push back, last one. Rounding, pulling shoulder blades away from one another, shoulders away from the ears. Nice. All right, into a half kneeling position here. One knee forward, uh, one knee on the ground, hands behind your head. We're just going to rotate. Think about keeping the belly button in tight, all the way up from that pelvic floor, rotating left and right. Look at this, though. We don't want a ton of movement in the whole body, right? We're looking at keeping the pelvis fairly still and rotating from above those hips. Glutes are tight, belly button scooping up and in, and one more, good, just going to turn myself a little bit on this side, tight glutes, okay, relax the shoulders, you got this, nice little warm up for us. There we go. So relax those shoulders. Okay. From here, we're going back onto all fours. Keep the toes turned under. Knees directly underneath those hips as the shoulders are directly above those wrists. Toes are under. We're going to lift those knees up off the floor. Barely. Four, three, two, one. Lower down nice and easy. Keep that belly button pulled in tight. Three, two, and lift. Four, three, two, one. Nice and strong. We're keeping that back lengthened, not rounded, but in neutral. Long spine, space between the shoulder blades. Again, we lift. Let's hold it a little longer this time. And drop it down. There we go. All right, we're going to go onto our backs now, into our hollow holds. Curl the lower back into the mat, scoop the belly button down and in. I always like to cue this by hugging those knees in. That way you really feel how strongly you can press your lower back down from here and extend it out. We're going to cue that belly button in tight, keep that lower back pushing into the floor, curl, drop the legs down as low as you can without losing any of that contact there. Squeeze it down. See that little bit of air pressing out as you press that lower back down. All right, hold this for four, three, two, and one. Just a little warmth there in that belly, and we're back onto all fours. We're going to kick one leg out to the side. All right. Again, you're going to engage those abs. Strong through the shoulders. We're not just relaxed here. Shoulders are pressing the floor away from you. I want you to think about these outer hip muscles here as you start to lift that leg. 
and turn. That leg is out to the ankle, somewhat in line with that hip. And then we're going to keep this hip down as you lift that foot, right? I could do this much easier if I move my whole body. Not the goal here. Remember your core includes your glutes. Moving in those hips. So let's warm that up too. Smaller controlled movement, hitting those tinier. Not always turn on muscles. Three more here. Three, two, and one. Okay, we're going to the other side. Pants don't like to stay on these ones. All right, rock it forward. Leg is straight, knee is straight, back. Flat belly button folds in, and here we go. If you were to have a cup of tea on your lower back, you would not spill it right now. Four, three, Two, and one. Good. Can we just do a quick rock in those wrists as I go through today? We have one humongous long list of exercises to get through two times, okay? So you won't revisit that exercise until we get all the way back through the whole list, okay? We're going to move between core and cardio at moves. Sometimes we'll have a dumbbell and sometimes we won't. The goal here, though, is when we are in those moves at our cardio base, that we are trying to get that heart rate up, please. Okay? We're going to start off with our renegade row. So we're going to come, that's why we're just rolling out those wrists. Okay? Devil starts in between those arms. You're going to come into your plank position, whether you're on your knees or your toes. We're going to row alternating left and right arms in three, and two, and one, four. Trying to do that with as little shifting between the hips as you can, right? So maybe the wider the feet go, easier it is for you to keep those hips together. But the goal would be to bring those feet back in and make that harder without letting those hips go all over the place. And good. Okay. Don't move much. Just get that dumbbell out of your way. We're going to come back up into your plank. Hop those feet forward into our squat. Just releasing the hands off of the floor for a second. Back down into your plank. Now, if you don't want to jump, then just keep stepping. Okay. You got it. Hold in tight. Keep those hips low. Bring those feet forward, flat to the floor. In three, two, and one. We're on the floor, twisting side to side with your one weight. Ready? Sitting on the sits bones right now, I'm going to roll my back, curl my spine, and twist. Good job. The further back we curl, the harder it gets. And notice how I'm turning my entire torso. It's not just the arms, where I'm always looking forward. My heart's always facing forward. Nope. We're going to rotate that rib cage. You got this. If you haven't noticed yet, we're going for time today. Okay? Keeping our workload, depending on the exercise, between 40 50 seconds each. Okay. All right, here we go. And three, and two, and one. 
for your bicycle crunching. All right, we're on our backs. <sighs> Hands behind the head, feet up, and let's go. Cross, 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 cross. Extend that other leg all the way out. Doesn't have to go low. You can keep them up high, right, depending on how your back's feeling. Lower you go. The harder it is for you to keep the back from arching. I'm trying to maintain that neutral. We need to want your pelvis, your hips to rock forward. Ay, ay, ay. Let's go. We got 20 seconds. Come on. Push, push, push. Yes. Guys, stay with me. Three, two, and one. Nice work. We're going to actually, we're not going to stand up. We're going to go back into our crunches with our dumbbell. This is the fun of doing core, right? We spend a lot of time close to the floor. All right. Um, feet have an option to be up overhead or on the floor. I want that dumbbell to go back overhead. And we're not coming all the way up into a full sit-up. We're just coming up into a crunch. Right? So if your feet are up, make sure your knees aren't over your chest, but they stay out over your hips. And you want to imagine bringing that dumbbell either towards your ankles or to your knees. Okay? Now, because we have that dumbbell and it's going back overhead, can you spend a little bit more time Thinking about your rib cage. We're not arching the ribs, so the ribs aren't poking up. Okay, keep that in tight. And two, and one. We're gonna stand up with that dumbbell, holding it at your chest, coming down slow into our squat, and coming up quick, okay? Take your own squat stance, what feels comfortable for you. Chest stays up, weight is in your heels. Hips go back and come all the way in. We're coming up quicker. So two different speeds. Got that. 20 seconds here. You got it. Three, two, and one. Can we place that dumbbell? Kind of standing up. If it won't, if your dumbbell won't stay, you can get your water bottle or um or just imaginary. Um so if you imagine here that dumbbell is in line with you, we're gonna take those feet up and over. Okay, keep going. You are using your hands, but you shouldn't be tense with your shoulders. Just rainbow it up and over. If you feel like you're going too far to one side, just readjust. That dumbbell should be in line with your midline, right? Middle. We're standing without that weight in 10. Four, three, two, one. Good job, guys. Let's stand it up. Three small bounces into one big one. Here we go. Try to bring those knees up in front. You can bounce on your toes if you don't want to leave the ground. All right? Good. Knees in front. You got it. Stay with it. So one of those moments where I want you to get your heart rate up. How are you doing? Getting that heart rate up. Come on. You're trying to pull your knees up in front. Getting those hip flexors. Come on. Three. Two, and 
One. Four. Okay. Very good, Emma. Two. Lean over to the side. Back to center. Keep the belly button in. Try not to rotate when you lean. We're just coming to the side. Notice the hips don't move. It's like you're dropping your rib cage closer to your hip. All right, let's switch sides. Keep the belly button in. Good job. Coming into a plank position again, we're going to do our mountain climber, but with one knee, okay? That means we're bringing one knee in and one knee only in three, two, and one. One knee. Ten seconds here, we're just going to switch. You're not even going to tap those knees to the floor. Just going to switch. In three, two, and one, we switch. Good job. Three, two, and one. Okay, so you know how you were doing those crunches with that dumbbell? And we pulled it overhead. Now we're going to hold it at the chest. Full sit up, if you can. And we're going to press that dumbbell up overhead. Otherwise, we're just doing a crunch again, but you're holding the dumbbell here. Okay? Ready? Let's go. Curl. Reach. Press through the... Tall spine. Head comes through those arms. Curl it back down. Every time we come up and down, I need to make sure you... Curl that spine. Yes. 15 seconds here. Hmm. Almost done, you guys. That was it. Stand it up. Hold your dumbbell between your legs. I want you to think about rounding your shoulders up and back. Nice, strong in that posture. Toes turned out. Okay, elbows are long and strong. Maybe you're just bringing up to your to balls of your feet, your toes. That's fine. Kids, can you give me some water, please? I forgot. Little squat jumps. All right, you guys. We got two more moves in this circuit. We repeat it all over again, and that's it. You got it. Three, two. And one. No weight on this one. We're going to reach up for one toe, drop the opposite leg. Find that neutral spine, keep that belly button pulled in tight. Hands by your head. I'm going to reach up for my right foot and drop the left and switch. You got it. And we got one more move. We're going to get water after that last move, okay? Come on. Reach. Oh, 10 seconds left. Time. 
time. Okay, hold on. Sorry, guys. I think when Casey put my water down, I lost my workout. I program everything. I don't memorize I have too many in a day that that would take. So <laughs> everything is written down for me for me to be able to remember. Sorry about that. Okay, we're here. Reach. Try that knee up. You do not have to skip. I'm right here. Reach the floor. Try that knee up. Back is long. Try that knee up. All right. Can we switch? All right, let's switch. Ready? Long spine, belly button in. Bend in that standing knee. Woo! And that's a little bit too soft for me. So if you're coming down and you're trying to touch the floor and you end up rounding your back, just go as low as you can, keeping that spine long. Okay? Got five seconds left right here. Push the hips back. Chest is forward and time. Great job. Let's get some water. Let's repeat it again, shall we? Okay. I really didn't take too long. 10 to 12 minutes. Are you ready to do it again? Of course you are. We're going to start it over again with our renegade rows. All right. Let's do it. Ready? Up. Oh, here we go. Elbow coming back and close to the body. Again, you can be on those knees too. Just make sure we're not here. Drop it forward, tuck the tailbone under, belly button pulled in tight, hands directly underneath those shoulders, please. Looks exactly the same through the body. Notice the same through those hips. Whether you're on your toes or on your knees, just a little bit more work on those toes, right? Last round, you guys got this. Come on, last round. And time. Okay, remember we went into that squat burpee now. We're never standing all the way up. We're going to stay down low in that squat, okay? Three, two, Let's go. Stay low. Keep your shoulders forward. That's where you're going to get that core. You send your whole body back. You're depending more on your legs than you are in that middle, right? So as you send your hips back, as you send your legs back, your shoulders stay right there. Okay? I'm going to try and push a little bit longer for each one of these this time, okay? 15 seconds left right here. I know you can. Here we're into our twists next. Three, two, and time. All right. Twisting. Remember, this is it. Okay? Make each one count. Let's go. <sighs> Rotate. Lean it back. Put those feet up for as long as you can. Because, what did I just say? Oh, yeah. You're not doing it again. All right, let's go. Let's go. So proud of you guys. Come on. Taking this time out right now to do this for yourself. Come on. Take those heels to the ground, but don't sit up. Try to stay sitting on the back sides of your sits bones. You're sitting on the back sides. 10, 9, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, we're going to do our bicycles standing because I missed that part. Oh, we're here. Oh, 
Stand tall, crunch it forward. Yeah. Abs can still be working right here, okay? They better be belly button in. You got it. Try not to come to side to side. I just caught myself doing that. Stand in your spot. Oh, yeah. 15 seconds. Come on. You're back to the floor after this. In five, four, three, two, and one. Crunches. If you can, feet up at tabletop. Knees over the hips, ankles in line with the knees. 90 degree bend. The bell rang. Just a crunch. As you're pulling that dumbbell overhead, I'm just gonna put it aside. I want you to slide your ribcage in. Right? Work all those little serratus muscles there. Okay? Take a check. Make sure those knees are not over the belly. They're out. Notice how that engages your abs a little bit more. You got it. Last 10 seconds here. And time. Good job. Stand it up. Squats. No jump this time, okay? We're just going to go down nice and slow. Come up quick. Keep feet straight to the floor. Down. Squeeze the glutes. Can you think about that? Turn out. As you come up, toes are turned out, knees are turned out. You don't have to look like mine, right? You could be a little wider, you could be a little more narrow. Don't go too wide. And your feet are all the way, maybe like 45 degree or even closer. But at the top, with that turnout, you should feel that all in that booty. That's it for four. Three, two, and one. Good job. Remember that dumbbell goes right in the middle of your mat. Center yourself, right? Right there. <sighs> Relax the shoulders, hold them back, side to side. Yes, 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 yes. Now, you can take this lower. You don't have to go down as far. Doing down further makes that a little bit harder. If you don't really have a dumbbell, please make sure you do have a nice arch you're creating. Shoulders are relaxed. 20 seconds, come on, I know. Belly button pull it tight. Mm. Remember we're standing, no weights next. In five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Three little bounces to our tuck. And when, our, when we tuck, that's our chance to get our core. Think about how your knees are coming forward. You don't have to leave the ground, but you gotta move quick. That knee coming in, get your core there. Come on, 10 seconds left. We don't repeat this one, so come on. Good job. Oh, side bends. Okay, let's go. Underneath. Actually, let's do the opposite sides first. Belly button in. 
to the side, back to center. Again, not rotating. That imaginary elevator up and in. Three, two, and switch. Let's go. You're not going past, you're just coming to parallel. Reach, the stretches, pull up. This side, squeeze from this side. Five seconds. Three, two. All right, we got that single leg mountain climber. You got this. It's 25 seconds each leg. Three, two, let's go. Me, me, me. Ten seconds. Come on. Press that floor away from you. Keep the belly button in. Three, two, one. No stopping. You're doing great. We got sit ups next. Okay. In five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Grab your weight. Feet chase to the floor. Sitting up or crunching and pressing that dumbbell away from your chest. Let's go. You're going to just crunch, right? Either way, just keep this ball in the back in contact with that mat. <clears throat> on that roll up and on that roll back down. <sighs> oh, 15 seconds, you guys. Three last exercises. You're done. <sighs> Four, three, two, and one. Oh, dumbbell. Hold it down. Chest up. Elbows long. Let's go. Notice I'm not like bouncing with my elbows out. This arm's long. Chest stays up. Okay, you got it. Come on. Two more moves. And that last one is more, not cardio, it's balancing, right? So come on, this is like our last real cardio. Ten seconds, we're done. Five, four, three, two, and one. Dumbbell goes away. On our backs. Opposite arm to the opposite foot. Only drop the leg. Like step. Deep breaths. Relax the shoulders. Hands by your head. Ready. And let's go. Come on. You feeling that? Use these guys. Come on. Here we go. Last 10 seconds of an out group for the day. Let's go. Let's go. Three, two, and one. Stand it up. Let's balance. Shall we? Long spine, belly button in, standing leg bent, 
glutes tight. Here we go. Reach it to the floor. Drive that knee forward. Want a little power behind that drive, okay? So you're coming up quick, and that's where we kind of get challenged with that balance. Good job. Oh, we're gonna stay here for 10 more seconds, and we're gonna switch right over to the other leg. Almost there. There we go. Switch legs. Soften that standing knee. Come on. Remember, you're thinking about long spine. So notice, I hinge once my hips aren't going back anymore, and then I'm going to start to bend into that knee a little bit more. All five toes on the floor. Pressing the floor away from me. Really grounding that. Five seconds here. Uh, get a sip of water. You guys are done. Beautiful little uh, workout. So, not hit, just nice cardio. Constant. We keep that heart rate up with that core. And we come down to your knee, please. Okay. Now we were twisting in our warm up. Can we do that again? But this time, hold it. So, hip behind the head. Nice up. Squeeze the glutes, especially this one. And rotate. Hold it. Breathe. Relax the shoulders. Deep breath. Twist a little. And hold it. Just one time. All the way over to the other side. Nice. Let's switch. Tight glutes. Especially this one. It's not sticking out. Pull it under. Tall spine. Inhale. We're going to turn over that front thigh. Super tight here. Breathing. Inhale again. Exhale, twist a little more. Bring it back all the way around. And bring it back. Awesome. All right. Stand it up. We're going to go to a nice forward fold. If you want to have your toes slightly turned out or straight ahead. Either way, it's fine with me. Inhale here. Exhale. Slide this hands down. Ah, relax the head. Drop. Okay, I'm going to turn and face you. To walk your hands to one leg. Uh, grab it onto that ankle. You can lock out that knee. Straighten out that knee. You can soften the other knee. And breathe into that. Relax the neck. So the ankle that you have a hold of, that is the straighter knee. Other side. And switch the bend in those knees. Relax the neck. And come back to center. Bend the knees. Curl yourself up. We're done, you guys. Good job today. We're getting you oh, healthier each and every time we do a workout together. So thanks for doing that with me. It is my pleasure. Until next time, see ya.